Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to create this super cool interactive smartwatch with Splite tool and also I will demonstrate how to integrate it into your website with Webflow. So let's get into it. So Splite is a super easy and simple tool that gives you the power to design stunning interactive 3D artwork for web. So Splite Beta has been released recently with a tons of new cool features like new user-friendly interface, real-time collaboration, Organize your file with photos and previews, new sculpting tool, image and color success, so new export option including React component export, and so many cool templates in the library that you can play around with. Alright, so let's get started to do some magic. So here's a quick overview of the process that we're going to do. So we're gonna need a FBX file of the 3D watch and then import it into slide to work with the materials, lighting and interaction. And finally, I will show you how to integrate it into your website with Webflow. So here we are in Splice. So uh, let's create a new file by clicking on this. So by default, you're gonna see this default rectangle here. So we're not gonna need it. So let's just remove it. Alright, so the next thing we gotta do is to import a 3D object into Splice. So I'm going to click here and select import. So in my photo, I have this FBX uh, file here. So let's import it into Splice. So you can download this 3D model from my Patreon or you can go to the internet and all of the free 3D sharing platform to download any 3D object that you like to try. So now let's scale it a little bit bigger so we can see everything clearer. So what we're seeing here is a front view so you can control the camera by just holding option key for Mac or alternate key for Windows. And you can also switch from autographic view to perspective view like this. So on the left panel, you can see all of this layer here represent different parts of the watch. So you can select any of these parts and turn on or turn off or assign a particular material to it. So now let's uh, apply some material to the strap. So just select the strap layer and on the right panel, you can see all of these properties here and here at the material section, you can play around with all of these uh, different layer of materials. So let's uh, give this a black colors like this. So here we have the lighting layer. So these layers will give the object uh, highlights or shadings and give it a more realistic look. So I'm going to leave it as default for now. So let's add another layer here by clicking on this plus icon. And by default, it's going to give you a color layer, but I want to switch it to fractional layer. And you can click here to open some blending options. So let's select overlay. So uh, we kind of have this uh, very subtle uh, shading effect like this. So next, I wanted to uh, add some noise effect to this strap. So let's add a noise layer. And you can click here to open the noise properties. So on this property, let's just reduce the scale to 0 0.001. So now you can click here to select a blending mode. So let's select multiply. And now you can see that there is a very subtle noise effect going on on the strap. All right, so this material is looking good. So I wanted to save it to the library to apply to other parts. So let's just click here. And at the top, let's click on this button. And then you can see that this material is being applied to the libraries. And you can click on this icon to adjust its properties anytime. So let's just rename it Black Math. Okay, next uh, let's select this uh, glass layer and just go to the materials and switch this color to a glass layer. So now you can see that this become a glass materials and you can see through everything behind it. But I don't want it to be blurry so let's just click on this to uh, adjust the property. So let's reduce the reflection to 1. And now you can see that the glass has become clear. Alright, so now let's select the screen layer. And for some reason, it's being pushed to the back. So no problem. Let's just adjust its position a little bit more to the front like this. Alright, looking good. So for the material, let's just switch this to image and click here. And from this, you can load any image you wanted to map to the screen. 
Alright, so let's select this, open, and now you can see that the image has been applied it to the screen layer. So now I wanted to apply the black matte material that we just created to this border here. So all I have to do is just select the layers and open this material panels and select the material and boom, very, very fast to apply the same material to different part of the 3D object. So next, uh, let's just finish the model by applying material to these uh, metal part here. So let's select this and give it uh, some a little bit darker colors, uh, a little bit gray like this. And let's click on this uh, lighting uh, properties and adjust the shininess to maybe 30. And now let's save this material as metal. All right. And now let's select this little part here and apply the metal material to it. And it's looking a little bit um, low poly so I can just increase the subdivision here to make it a little bit smoother so that's basically it in terms of material so now we're going to work on the lighting so let's click here to reset the camera angle so by default splice gonna give you a directional light so you can move this around to see how the light affecting the 3d object so I'm going to uh, rename this as uh, backlight and then let's duplicate this light so right click duplicate and we have a second light here so let's move the second light uh, on this side and then let's uh, duplicate again uh, so we have the third light so I'm going to rename this as movable light so I'm going to make this light uh, follow the mouse cursor uh, by just adding a simple event uh, from the right panel here so let's click on this event and just click on follow and that's it now you can click on this play button here to preview the interaction so it's pretty cool right okay so let's get back to this uh, view and then uh, I just noticed that there's a screen is look a little bit dark so I wanted to kind of lighten it up a little bit so simple simple just click on the screen layers and go to the material and add another color layers and just click here to uh, change the color to white and then select the blend mode is overlay and that's it the screen is much brighter now and one thing that i wanted to do is to i want this watch to kind of look at my uh, mouse cursor whatever it goes um, so super easy so let's just select this whole thing and just go to event and add a look at event and now we can uh, click here to previews this is really nice so now we're going to add some extra elements uh, to fill up the space so let's create a uh, sphere here and scale it up a little bit like this and you can move the camera angle so you can see it's better and I want it to be a little bit on the front uh, like this so now let's uh, play around with the material so I want this to be a glass material so let's switch the color to glass layer and let's go to uh, this lighting and reduce it to 30 so it's very subtle like this and now let's add another layer so I'm going to select professional for this and reduce the intensity to maybe uh, 20 uh, something like this uh, so if you move the camera angle you can see this how cool this glass effect look like uh, so I wanted to make it maybe a little bit blurrier uh, like this all right it's looking good so now all we need to do is just to duplicate all of these balls uh, to a different position uh, to fill up this uh, space. Okay, so let's preview it. So this is looking really good. So I'm going to use this and now I'm going to show you how to integrated 3d interaction into your website using webflow so let's click on export and you can see that this uh, export panel shows up here 
So here we have a lot of options for you to export. So we have public URL, web content, React component, image, frame recording, which is uh, export to a video, GLTF format, and the local spline file. For this case, we're going to use uh, public URL. So you can see that it generates a public URL and an embed link here. And down here, we can see that a bunch of options like selecting the camera or turn on and turn off all of these uh, 3D options that you can control uh, with your 3Ds like orbit, uh, camera panning, zoom. Uh, so for this case, uh, we don't want any of these. So it's just to turn it off and click here to update. All right, so now let's uh, go back here and copy this embed link. And then this link is being copied to your clipboard. And now let's go to Webflow. So here we are in my Webflow dashboard. So I have a test uh, website uh, is already here. So let's click on it. So here we are in my empty website. So first thing first, I wanted to change the background color to be the exact color of the supply. So super easy, all you have to do is just go to spline and click anywhere. And then you can see that there's a color value on the background here. So just copy it and paste it to this uh, Webflow uh, property. So now you can see that the background is uh, black like this. So now I wanted to add a diff block. So just click here and then let's find this diff block. So right here, so let's click it and then you see a diff block here. So now what we need to do is just embed the spline uh, 3d interactive that we just did into this um, diff block so super easy just select the diff and down here you can see that there's an embed uh, component here so just one note it, this feature is only available if you uh, already purchased the hosting of webflows otherwise you can't use this so now let's click on this and then to show you a problem like this so all you have to do is just paste the link that you just copy to this prompt and that's it now let's click save and close now just give it a few seconds and there you go you can see the display 3d is being loaded here so now let's adjust the height of the div block so we can see the whole thing so let's go to here and select pixel and maybe give it uh, 720 pixel Boom, so now you can see that the whole uh, supply artwork is uh, showing up here. So you can click here to preview. Boom, there you go. Super cool 3D artwork in your own website. So you can see that there's a little supply logo in the corner here. So if you want to turn it off, you have to uh, upgrade it to the pro version. So if you are upgraded to the pro version, there's going to be an option for you to hide the logo. So just click here and click update and now just go back to webflow and see the result there you go no more logos super cool super clean so that's it that's how you create this stunning 3d artwork and integrate it to your website using webflow so you can follow the link under the description to download and try Splite today. There are also links to the Splite community so you can take part in and learn and share from others and become a better designer. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.